welcome to Smite. It's been a while since I've actually played this on the channel, so... Exciting times, isn't it? Uh, how do I... Where's the item? I gotta get it. Uh, the way... I'm playing is Fenrir, by the way. Uh, way I normally play Fenrir, there's the item that I need, is I try to basically just boost his attack speed since he does insane damage anyways. I do also, like, add a little to the damage, but it's mostly attack speed that I build into. Uh, the, the item that you just saw me getting there will actually allow me to, uh, not suffer from attack speed reduction. Like, when you attack in this game, uh, you start moving slower. Uh, if I hit my attack, it will actually negate that for, like, a couple seconds, so I'll actually be able to keep up with people who are running away and continue to smack them. And that's, that's gonna be actually pretty good, honestly. I picked uh, red boots over the uh, penetrative ones because I value attack speed a bit more. Um, how do I feel about the teams currently? They're actually pretty even. I mean, they have mostly physical though for their damage. The only person who's magical, or the only two, is the Guardian, who is Athena, and uh, the Moon Goddess there. God, I can't remember her name. It's been a while. Either way, uh, she's their healer, we have uh, Aphrodite for our healer, we have Anubis for our magical damage, I am physical damage, he is also physical damage, and there's our tank right there, Sobek. I actually like Sobek a lot. Sobek's a really good tank. He's got a lot of control with him, which is probably why he's like one of the best tanks. In my personal opinion, at least. Oh boy. Careful. Whoa, boy. I kind of want to jump on him, but I want to jump on one of the weaker ones. Oh, there we go. She's going to run out. There we go. There we go. We took out their tank. Now the rest. Bling, bling, bling. Attack, attack. There we go. Oh, please don't body block me. That is a thing that happens a lot here. People body block, like, a lot. And it irritates. I'm trying to use my second ability to get lifesteal. Because that's what it's really good for. Is to get you uh, lifesteal and you can just start hitting enemies and gaining life back. Which is really useful. She's continuing to heal me, which is nice. Um... Uh, the unique thing about Fenrir in particular is that he has this rune system where if he hits like basic attack five times then he gets like a secondary power to like each of his abilities. It just adds like additional stuff for him. Now if I had my actual chase thing I would have gone in there but I didn't. If I had my alt up really I would have definitely grabbed their healer. But uh, can't do that right now so. Could probably go ham on a biscuit and jump on that guy. Probably kill him before the healer. Nah, the healer just healed him up a bit. I can't really do much with these guys. Like this is one of the things that suffer for the melee, uh, the melee characters. Uh, it's difficult to push lane when there's so many people here. This is assault mode though, so in the base game it's probably different. But I prefer assault mode because I just like it better. Because it's kind of the random nature, since I have like every god in the game because I got that ultimate pack. There we go. That was a nice shot there. I cannot believe that I got that shot, but while it was spinning in the air, I literally ate him out of the sky. That was freaking great. It's just like, Rawr! crunch. Because uh, his ult right there, it does like 200 damage, and it can also like, after the 200 damage, it controls a little. Oh boy, I'm going to die. Yeah, no worries, no worries. We're still winning immensely. So what's the next item? Do I have enough for the next item? I might have enough. Uh, before I spawn, maybe I, I'll have enough to get the Executioner, which reduces uh, physical protections, so that way it makes my attacks do more. There we go. I'll also be getting Quinn Size as well, because Quinn Size uh, do a percentage amount of damage uh, comparative to their max health, I believe. So it's a very good tank killer weapon, and I definitely should get it because it'll help me take out their 
largest threat. Well, not their largest threat. It's their front line. It'll help take out the front line. There we go. I went him, but I'm gonna die. I killed him. Whoa! What the hell was that? All kinds of static noise there. That was weird. That was really weird. I don't know what that was. Either way, I went in and got that kill. Because I'm Fenrir, boy. Fenrir is actually one of the best gods in the game. I'm not gonna lie. He's one of the best gods in the game. But he's also like one of the more basic gods. There's not much of a gimmick to him. Just how I personally feel. He's pretty basic. He's an easy to learn god, actually. He's pretty easy to learn, so I would actually recommend him for newer players. He's really easy. Smart. Pretty simple, because it's just, hey, hit opponent as much as you can. I'd really like them to stop, though, uh, keeping them in there, because we need to actually pull them out a little so we can kill them safely. There we go, got him again. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm out. I had to use my uh, three to get out of there instead of die. I think it was a good move. I also killed that guy again with the ult. Oh man, he is just not having a good time with me eating his face constantly. Ooh, somebody got a uh, meditation. Active item. It's actually really good. There we go. Ah, oh, did I get that last kill though? I think I might have. I'm gonna start buffing. What is our? What is he doing? Why is he not moving? Hmm, that's worrisome that he's not moving. I just need ten thousand, so I'll probably get executioner on this life as well, which will mean I'll have three full items filled. I'm one of the weird people who don't get active and consumables until later. I mean, sometimes you should get consumables at the start because it balances a little bit. There's all kinds of different ways you play. I normally just go immediately for building the power items and just go at it. I mean, since Fenrir's whole purpose is to make sure people die, you should probably focus on the stuff that lets him do that. That's just how I view it, though. My personal opinion. You can have a different one if you want. Thanks. Okay, Sobek is up. I am here. We can't really push in right now. Oh boy. Stop for a second and we'll be safe. Got him. And there we go. He's dead. I'm out. Let's get this. Okay, I do have my stun jump so I can actually stun people if I jump on them. They're kind of grouping up. I'm going to do it. Oh boy. Oh, that's bad. He's gonna die. Yeah. He's actually a bit of a difficult character to deal with, that uh, Rama. His ult is very precise, though. He's a precision ult. Aphrodite. We're grouped up here. Why'd you want us to group up? There we go. So far, we're winning, though. Definitely winning. Now that we have them on our lines. There we go. Do a little bit of actual physical damage and then use my escapes. That's an actual really valuable thing about Fenrir. He has so much escape. Like he can just literally bounce in, use one ability, and then bounce out. Oh boy. I do have my stun. I just need to get close. Oh, I got killed before I could activate and get out. But at least they're picking up the kills, so that's good. Uh, let's fully level that ability. Okay, good. He actually stopped right, right on the money. Right there. Yeah, Quinn's size will be the next thing. I should actually, after Quinn's size, work on my crit. Because if I can also do high crit, that would be a super helpful thing. We're only eight minutes in this game, damn. We're doing pretty decent. We're not so far ahead, but we definitely have a dominant lead. 
Oh, he went in too close. Killing spree. Did he live? Holy shit. Oh, wait. One of them altered. I'm just using the sidebar because if you know how to interpret the sidebar, you can actually uh, tell what's going on. Like, I know for a fact that Sobek used his ult to actually get out of a situation. And I know that Earl was actually in trouble there. And Earl's like the archer. I don't know how to actually say his name. It's Norse. He's a Norse god. It's like Earl or something. He like has some pretty unique tactics to him as well. He's got like different stances. He's got an axe stance and a bow stance. It's all pretty cool. Anubis is actually one of my favorite characters though. He's got such awesome mage powers. Oh boy. Nice. Get him to miss all those shots. There we go. I'm out. Ah, I died. Though. So, oh well. It doesn't matter. Death doesn't mean much in this game. So long as you, your team is uh, killing more. So long as you offset it, really, is the thing. Oh no. There goes Sobek. Oh. Okay, they need to pull back. They definitely need to pull back. They're not in a good spot here. These guys are definitely stronger than them. They need to fall the fuck back. I'm not very good at the voice, using the voice thing that they have in the game. I mean, once you learn how to do it, it's actually super useful, but... I don't know how to use it at all. There we go. Definitely want to level up that because so far I've killed like almost everybody with my ults. Every time I used it. There was that archer though. Rama beat me to using his ult and then I bit him and it was too late. Oh snap. There we go. You're not getting out of here. There we go. <laughs> I also have a lot of skins in this game. I think I have at least one skin for most of the first two year gods. But like after that. Or maybe the first year gods. I'm not sure. Either way. I have a lot of gods. There we go. She died. I killed her. It worked. The purpose was served, as in taking out the tank. Oh, she pushed her out. Or pushed them out. Ah, he always dashes her, man. This Sobek keeps dashing her at the wrong moments. He should not dash while she has invulnerability. But I mean, we killed a lot. Where the hell is Anubis? Oh, he's on his way. Yeah, she's... That freaking uh, moon goddess is actually super useful. Ooh, he made that shot nice. Okay, now I need to get there. I didn't have enough to buy uh, the size yet. But probably next time I die, I'll be able to buy them. Doing so good though right now. Anubis is beating me, but then Anubis is also uh, able to not have to jump in on him. I have to jump in on him. I'm a more aggressive god, so I have to be more aggressive in order to get the kills. Oh no! She used her ability to get out of my bite. That sucks. That's horrible. This is gonna this may be the downfall here. This may be the turning point of the game. Nope, not not that bad actually. We still have a dominant lead. There we go. Oh, okay. Now they they're just gonna sit here and ambush them. Him using that alt there was actually a horrible idea. Hey, and we're finally uh. Oh, he's building Witchblade. That's a good item to actually build. I got my size though, so now they're gonna be taking a lot of the uh, extra health. I'll do it right here so you guys can actually read. It's 4% of the target's maximum health that I'm basically going to deal with. So the more health they get, the more damage I'll deal. 
So that's actually also a pretty decent late game item because leveling up also gives additional health as well. All good. It's all good. Definitely a really good on tanks though because tanks build a lot of health. Damn, that's two towers down. Holy crap. Double towers. Now, I want to avoid the ones that can just get out of my bite. I don't know if they actually bought the items, though. Let me check real quick if any of them bought a... Uh... Nope, none of them did. So, I can actually still take advantage of any if I can just get to them. Bling, bling. Lord Slashington the Third is here. Mmm, yes. Prepare yourselves. I'm not jumping into tower line. Every time I do that, I end up dying. Oh, boy. I need to get out of here. So slow. So slow. There we go. You're mine. He keeps dying to me so often. There we go, she died. I may die. I need to get out of here. Thank you, mage. Whoever's healing me, thank you. It's our healer who's definitely healing us, but she's keeping me alive. She's the reason I'm still here. No, you don't. Now, where's the next guy? Oh, boy. Son of a bitch. Nice. Oh, yeah. Taste it. Taste it. Oh, you love that tasty combo, don't you? Don't you? Okay, I died to the Phoenix. I was hoping to be able to kill it. It's almost dead. There we go. Phoenix down. Nice. Oh, I could actually use that, too. That would do additional damage to groups. But I should actually get crit. So where's my crit items? There you are. Get the rage. Nice. I could actually buy a full-off rage, too. Which means I was doing real well there. What am I at now? Yes! I'm in the lead for kills. Though my KD is pretty shitty compared to Anubis's. But then again, I am killing the most. And killing the most matters a bit more than the KD. Yes! Oh my god, they're doing so well. We have such a huge lead here. We've like basically pretty much killed almost half. Like they kill one more. Yep, there we go. Half. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I got the domination trophy apparently. Nice. Oh, that was a really good game. That was a really good game. I enjoyed it. They did have lack of magical damage on their side. So that might have led to the slight unbalance. But I mean... I've seen people with worse team combinations, like, win, so, it's not always about the team combo, it's just about that. What is domination? Win a match where your team has killed twice as many gods as the enemy team. Sweet! So that actually was two for one then, nice. We basically did win there, pretty good. I actually, I'm actually going to be playing a lot more Smite, because I'm really, I'm really back into it. I'm back into the game. It took a while, I took a little break from it, and now I'm back into it. So like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all.